Hey, how you doing today? My name is Riley and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are jumping into Metroid Dread and I'm going to show you how to find invisibility. And so the way that you find this is step one is you have to get the spider magnet. And so we just came around, we destroyed the central unit and now we are going to, I'm going to show you where to go. Basically you come around to the right. You actually could have, could have gone right there. That works too. We're going to come up and pretty much wherever you see these blue walls that's exactly where you need to go so we'll come through here uh by climbing up on this blue wall here and jumping up that allowed us to pull this ledge down and then coming over to the right we will come up I'll just show you where we're on the map real quick so we were down here near the central unit came up and around and now we're going to come up from this room so this very tall room with all the blue, all the blue walls. So when you first come through here, this will not look like these white walls. You can just shoot through these. You actually be able to pick up a missile tank and then we will keep moving on to the right. And in this game, it's all about going to the only place that it lets you go. And in this case, it's going to the right. But whatever's available, that's where you keep wanting to go. And actually on our map, it opened up this thing, item cube. And that's what we are aiming for. Right here, you can see this little spider thing. You can try to counter it once you get close to it. Boom! Or you can just get close to it, let it attack you, and then launch a bunch of missiles at it. That'll work too. So when you go all the way to the right, you get to this cutscene here. And this item cube is actually taken up by a boss. You got to do a boss fight. And if you want to know how to do the boss fight, you can stick around. We're going to do the boss fight. I'll give you some tips to make this go a little bit better. So right here, you got to watch. You're always watching this tail, right? It's either going to swoop from the side or it's going to do that. You can, you can just keep launching. Oh, watch out for the poison. See ya. See how his tail it kind of went back a little bit? That's how you know it's going to come forward. We're just going to keep using your missiles until you run out. Watch out for those. Oh, see see how it kind of went off to the side like that? That's how you know you need to do jump to the side. When you do your regular shots, it's not really going to do much. But see how his face is yellow? You can do charge shots on the face. Just like that. And then it sounds like it's dealing damage, you know what I mean? If you shoot those things out of the air, it gives you some extra missiles and some health, just like that. Easy. Tail goes yellow, and so you want to do either missiles or charge shots on the on the tail. You, you get... Oops. Still watch out for the tail. When it goes back, it's going to come forward. And then you got a chance to do missiles on the tail. Just use up all your missiles. This boss fight gives you plenty and plenty of missiles to get through this. All right, once he goes invisible and he starts charging at you again like this, we will we will need to be dashing underneath him here shortly and also using a magnetic wall. So now that it's up, we're gonna dash underneath just like that. Oh, and also when you dash underneath, it gives you a chance to do a, uh, a counter attack. So now that it's like this here, it does this little fog on the ground. You have to jump up, but it also gives you a chance to get him in the face, and then... There you go. Just like that. Get the tail. Oop. See how it was swinging. Alright, so I'm out of missiles, so now I can just do regular shots. Oh! What's he doing? He's invisible. We're gonna slide underneath, counter, and then you can, and then once you do the counter, this does a really cool like cutscene type thing. It gives you a chance to like launch your missiles and do your attacks. Like right now, I'm controlling the attacks when it does that, and you get by far the most damage off during those uh, cutscene counter things. More so than if you're just like doing normal attacks. So when it looks like he's gonna charge, he goes up against the wall. So, damage is that. So watch out, he's still doing the fog on the ground. Use your missiles whenever you can. 
So he's going to charge against the wall. Oh, nope. I did the wrong attack. Counter. And then just missile, missile, missile. So you're out of missiles and then do your regular shots. Just keep doing it. Missile, missile, missile. There we go. And just like that, the boss will be down in no time. Easy. You got this. I believe in you. And once you take out the boss, you get that phantom cloak, which is what is going to allow you to go invisible in Metroid Dread. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thanks. Bye.